quick video, which is just the final example on the first lesson of the A2 series. All right, so we're talking about the sum of the first two terms. So I know that the sum of the first two terms is 18. So n is 2. So that gives me the information to fill in some bits from this formula. So what have I got? So 18 is 2 over 2, 2a plus 2 minus 1d. Right. 2's cancel. I've got 18 is 2a plus d there. The other bit of information I've got is the sum of the first four terms is 52. So sum to 4 is 52 when n is 4. So 52 is 4 over 2. 2a plus 4 minus 1, lots of d. So 52 is, well actually, let's have a think about it before we go any further. That cancels down as a 2, but then I can cancel. Let's give me a 26 there. Whoops. So I'm going to put a 26. I'm going to cancel that down a little bit just to make it easier. So that'll be a 2a plus 3d there. Once again, using um, simultaneous, I want it x is y is equals numbers. So 2a plus d is 18, and 2a plus 3d is 26. So I've put that straight into polynomial. It gives me a is 17 and d is 4. Right, now then, I've done that math, so I think I'm okay. I think I've done everything, but I haven't. The question's actually asking for the sum of the first eight terms. So I know that a is 17, I know that d is 4, and I know that n is now 8. So I want the sum of the first eight terms, minus 1 times 4. So the sum of the first eight terms would be, oh, it's not been done on this if you can work it out, it's not actually done on the completed pack. Uh, I thought it was, but it's not. So if you stick that in your calculator, because I've not got a calculator here, because <laughs> I'm in one of the rooms, you can work it out. Okay. So you work that out for me.